simple. Like I said, take off the wheel. Uh, you just want to make sure that this pin here, uh, this pin does come out and you take that 14 millimeter and you want to detach this right here. Um, and then that last pin, of course, comes off there. You pull everything out, pull that clip off, put everything to the side, pull your old brake pads out. Of course, from right here, you slide them out of right here. Uh, once you slide them out, you go ahead and get the new pads. You'll put your oil on the new pads here. Uh, make sure everything is lubed back up so that it is pretty easy to get it off again once you do it. And yeah, man, that's all to it. Put it. What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video today, man. And today uh, it should be kind of a special day for me. Um, I'm getting ready to actually change the brakes on the Hellcat. Um, so I'll kind of take you guys through how easy and simple it is um, to kind of, you know, take those off. Take your wheel off, of course. Uh, take your pins out of your car and your vehicle and what have you. And then I'll kind of show you guys step by step of how and what I'm doing. Um, you know, I've already taken one off. So I will be able to show you guys that. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, and just make sure you watch this whole video. So those of you that do not know how to change your brakes, you'll be surprised how easy it is to change your brakes. Shut that door. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've already got some off too. So I'll show you guys that. Um, and just make sure you guys watch this video to the end. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, and for any of those that, you know, thought that the Hellcat, or excuse me, were hard, um, you know, it's really not that hard. It's fairly easy to take them off. So I'll show you guys. All right, guys, as you can see right there, I do have everything taken apart. Um, got my lugs right here on the ground. Got my tools. You guys see the new brake pads. I took the old brake pads out already. Uh, those pins there, you'll have to push those in to kind of get the brakes out a little bit. But fairly easy job getting that out. Push pins go here. Another one is here. And then this will slide back in. Now you guys see some of that red. I actually did get my calibers painted. Uh, as soon as we got back down, uh, we're here to Vegas. Was able to get those painted. But those are the six pistons uh, pins right here that kind of help compress that brake to stop on those rotors. Um, so you guys see it's real heavy duty right there. Nothing real hard. Uh, just got to take like a screwdriver or something to wedge it in there to release them from the brakes if you're not able to get your brakes out. Uh, but it was kind of fairly easy. Well, I wiped everything down on this one. And as I do the other one, I'm going to go over to the other side and show you guys that one. Uh, but there are the new brake pads right here that picks it up. There they are right there. You guys can see the thickness of the two. It's fairly thick right there between the two. And then I'll show you guys how the other one looks. So you guys will get opportunity to see. Um, so here are the old brake pads. As you guys can see right there, you guys see how the pistons kind of um, the clamps kind of came down and it hits those brakes for them to react. And then you guys see how thin that is there. Uh, so, so fairly close. Those push pins kind of show you, you know, the difference of once your brakes start squeaking, how thin they should be. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and pop these suckers off, man, because I know it was overdue in due time. We did take the car to Michigan um, and I, you know, really wanted to do the brakes myself. So here is that, and like I said, there is that too as well. <clears throat> so I have those there. There's the other set. I am going to do the rear, so you guys will see the rear. And I do use the Power Stop Extreme, um, you know, for low dust, man, because it helps out a lot, as you guys can see all that old dust on my hand. But, you know, it's a man's job, pretty easy to do. There is the uh, rear brake pads. Those will be coming next, of course. They're a lot smaller. Your stopping power needs to be up front on those Hellcat wheels to stop this sucker from going. Uh, so Jason and I are getting ready to take the wheel to the car wash right now just to get the inside of it. As you guys can see, all of that brake dust. And then when we get home, I'll show you guys the wheel and what it looks like when we get all that brake dust off of there, uh, even in the inside here. And we get it nice and cleaned up for you guys. And then we'll go ahead and put the brakes back on, uh, slide those down in there, 
and then go ahead and get it popping, man, and get that get that wheel back on. So stay tuned. Uh, you know, we'll run to the to the car wash real quick. Remember what that wheel looked like, guys. I'm telling you now. Remember what that wheel looked like, because you guys are gonna see a whole different wheel when we come back. Also on the front as well. It is pretty bad, man. So guys, check it out. Lots of brake dust on there. Now with these new pads, they're saying, Jace, that we we won't, we won't get any brake dust. So we'll see. So you guys see Let's that see there, that. and we'll take a look at it uh, when we get back from the car wash. We'll, we'll tune back in with you guys here in a second. All right, we are back, guys, and as you guys can see, Jace and I were able to make it to um, the car wash, and you guys see that wheel. That wheel was dusty. You guys can see a little bit of that dust still in the corner right there, uh, but for the most part, the wheel is clean now. And this is the part where I showed you guys it was all dusty, as you guys can see it right there. Um, it's no longer dusty uh, like it was. So I was able to get it cleaned up, um, you know, get it back to what it looks like. Uh, I recommend anytime you're taking your tires off, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to clean the inside of that inner wheel well. Um, it's gonna make it look so much better. And then I'll show you guys the front as well, as you guys can see there. Um, all that blade dust is off of there. So, you know, we just wanna do that. I'm probably gonna do that to each tire. I am gonna go ahead and do it all the way around. Uh, so we got that. We also have our packet. Um, this is gonna be for the back side of your brakes, as you guys can see there. This oil goes on that backside, the shiny part, uh, so those particular pistons in there can grab a hold of them, stop it. I'm gonna wipe all this down before I attach everything back together, wipe my pins off and what have you. As you guys can see there, I'll wipe everything off. Um, we'll wipe all of that off in the inside here as well, if it's picking that up. And we'll get everything, guys, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll put our sauce and lubricate everything up there and make sure that everything is well lubricated so that everything goes back in accordingly. Uh, so hopefully everything goes back in the way that it should. Once Jay and I, Jason and I get started, uh, we'll put that here. So to put it on all your pins, uh, your stuff here, and then the pin at the bottom, of course. And then um, it'll go on this back side of that brake there too as well if that does pick it up. So I'll get started with that. Um, and Jason's gonna hold the camera. And y'all can see, don't mind your boy none, I'm in my work gear, you feel me? We'll put a little bit of this on her. If it's open, it ain't open. It ain't open. There it goes. We're gonna wipe some of this sauce on here. You ain't gotta get so close, just kinda get me doing it a little bit. Wipe it on there just a little bit. Like it says, you don't wanna do a whole lot. It's not really asking you to do a whole lot. But you do just wanna make sure that you are putting enough on there so that you can wipe that down, of course. And then you just want to kind of rub it in a little bit, get it good and firm over there, and that'll stop that friction, any of that squeaking that goes on those brakes. Um, so that's what this is for. Just wipe it down. You guys can see there. We'll wipe that one. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide this puppy back in there and make it do what it do. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna wipe off this edge first. Like I said, just wanna make sure I get in here. Really dusty. I'm hoping that the new brake pads. Uh, that I was able to purchase. Don't kind of obtain all that dust and everything in here. 
So we'll just kind of wipe as good as possible. And just want to make sure everything is clean right here. So we put them down in there. Give everything a good wipe down. And then we're going to go ahead and slide these puppies on in. So what it should do is it should kind of slide right on down. If it doesn't, of course. put that pin in there um, and it should kind of slide down right on in there we'll push those down make sure those pistons are all down uh, then once I get this in uh, we'll pick back up where we left off from so I'll see you guys here in a second all right guys um, got was able to get that one in um, now we're just gonna wipe some sauce on this one doesn't have to be much um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Wipe that on there like that. And go ahead and hit it again. Sauce is all on there. Just kind of get it all the way around best as possible. Guys, see you there. Then we'll stick this on the outside and then we'll go ahead and put those in there too as well. So these are getting ready to go in um, just like this here. Pretty much just like the other one. And then uh, once you're able to get it in where it's supposed to go, it should kind of slide in. If it doesn't, you guys will need to push these in a little bit. And then once I get this in, I will chime back in with you guys here in a second. All right guys, so Jason's still helping. We were able to get both of the new pads in there. Get up close and show them, son. So as you guys can see, they are in there. Um, and now once they're in there, we gotta get the pin back through. Of course, we'll put our pin back up. These will go back up. I'm gonna lube all this stuff so that it does go through and wipe it down and lube it. Then those pins sit down in there. And then we'll put this pin back up here where it belongs here. Simple wimple. As you guys can see right there. <clears throat> and it pops back in just like that. If you guys are looking to do your own breaks, you definitely want to just kind of wipe everything down, kind of take your time a little bit. Um, you know, make sure everything is wiped down as best as possible because these brake pads that I do got are supposed to be um, the brake pads that do not create any dust. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And then I will show you guys, we'll take off the other side, jack the car up. I always just wipe it out. Like I said, wanna wipe it out just to be on the safe side because you're not gonna take that back off. And all that dust can ruin your will so my cameraman's doing a good job man he's been helping i just wanted to kind of bring him out here and show him so when he gets older that he could just pop his brakes off and do it yourself man if you got the time i definitely recommend that you do it that pin sits there then that sits on there of course that goes down it bends and then those two pins lock there simple as that so you guys will get an opportunity to see here in a second um you know how everything sits in there and sits tight and then um, as I progress I kind of show you guys step by step on how to do it but uh, put that main pin in I can probably lock this down too on that side if you guys can see there and then like I said that's gonna sit there pins will go through um, and then we'll be all set to go 
do it like that there. Set that puppy right up top. It's going to hold that in place. That pin at the bottom there. And then that pin at the top there. So there they are. I'm going to wipe my pins down and everything. And then, like I said, I'll show you guys, um, you know, as we get everything done step by step, man. So we'll go ahead and wipe this pin down. Just kind of get everything off of it. Um, and then that should pop back in there at the bottom. Like so. Yep, and it goes right through. As you guys can see right there, pop right through. That pin will go through there. Um, it'll go through the bottom here. And then that's going to secure it. So pop that sucker right back in there. Kind of pull that out a little bit. And then once you get it in, it should kind of slide right on down in there. Um, it's being a little stingy with me right now. I probably need to pull the brakes out just a smidgen so that it does. Kind and guys, that's the most important. Um, so as you guys can see, Jace is holding the camera for me now. And I'm just going to kind of slide everything over to where it needs to go um, so that it is in there secure. And then that bracket is in there equally across everything. So it is in there. That pin's in there. This pin is in there. You want to make sure that they are pretty flush. So as again, I'm going to kind of hit them again. Just make sure they are in there pretty well. They are. It feels pretty good. That pin's hanging out there. That pin is out there. We're secure here. Now we're going to take that bolt. Like I said, we'll get our ratchet. You guys are going to need a 14 millimeter, as you guys can see there. There's a 14 millimeter. We'll go ahead and turn it back. And we're going to crank that thing up. Just make sure that you do get it on there. Now, I haven't read anything where it says about how tight it needs to be, but I imagine that you just want to get it as tight as it was when you took it off, uh, which I didn't really have to give it too much of a tug. Um, it just kind of worked its way off there. Uh, so we'll screw it back on, just make sure we're holding on to that in there, and we'll get it tight. Actually pushed it off there. Normally, I would have gloves on, uh, which I do recommend. You know, for you, those of you that are doing this for the first time, and then you're just kind of going to give it a good tug there. Slipped off of me, but there that is there, and it is on there. Nice and secure as it was before. You just kind of want to make sure everything is lined up. Everything is looking good to go. I just want to go ahead and, like I told you guys before, we're going to, slide everything down just want to make sure everything is lined up and that the way it's supposed to be everything look good jace yes everything looks good to go pimp soup and uh yeah man that's all in there we got the pins back in there i wiped my uh my my brake thing down here my caliber down here on this side i will probably have to get some touch up paint and get to that caliber um but yeah man that's simple as wimple right there man um, you want to change your, uh, you know, your brakes on your Hellcat, uh, fairly easy to do. Um, but like I said, you really just want to concentrate and make sure, uh, that you are following those steps. Now, once I get everything good to go, um, you guys have to go through the routine of stopping as, you know, um, going and I think you do it in intercals. I think it's on the box somewhere. Um, but you know, for the most part, they are on the box. Um, and it's pretty simple. Just kind of read the directions on that box there. And that box tells you exactly what to do. Um, I think you go to like 40 and then you stop real hard. And then you go down to like 35 and then you stop medium. Um, then you stop again and then you let the brakes cool down. And then you do uh, something else as well. But they are all in there for what I can see on my end. And I think that one's going to wrap this one up, man. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and do all the way around the car. Uh, since I've done this side here, I'm going to work on the other side. We'll work on getting that tire put on right there, of course, as you guys can see. Uh, but man, the hard part is over, you know, for right now. Was able to get those brakes in there, so I shouldn't hear no squeaking, no squealing. Uh, these things have been pretty rough since we came back from Michigan. Um, <clears throat> I was just able to finally get to it and do it on my own. Um, Jace was a big helper. Thank you, son. And uh, yeah, man, that's gonna wrap it up, man. So pretty simple, like I said, take off the wheel. Uh, you just wanna make sure that this pin here, uh, this pin does come out and you take that 14 millimeter and you wanna detach this right here. Um, and then that last pin, of course, comes off there. You pull everything out, pull that clip off, put everything to the side, pull your old brake pads out. Of course, from right here, you'll slide them out of right here. Uh, once you slide them out, you'll go ahead and get the new pads. You'll put your oil on the new pads here. Uh, make sure everything is lubed back up so that it is pretty easy to get it off again once you do it. And yeah, man, that's all to it. Put it back together. And then I'll probably bring you guys another video of me actually taking a car out and going through the stop and start process so that we can break these new brakes in. But man, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. For those of you that do have Hellcat Challengers and Hellcat Chargers, Scat Packs, um, fairly easy, man. I just wanted to bring that video to you guys on how to do it. And uh, like I said, tomorrow we're kind of give you guys more of an in-depth view of when I go to the stop and start process. So we appreciate you guys, man. Everybody stay tuned, locked in. Appreciate you guys subscribing to Coop and the Gang. And we're going to keep bringing you guys different things. But this is going to be a how-to. Change those brakes on a Hellcat um, or a Scat Pack, either or. In this case, you guys already see it. It is the Hellcat. And uh, boom. Yeah, man, that's it. You guys stay tuned, stay locked in. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you did like to enjoy the video. Um, I definitely would appreciate it. It goes a long way for our content um, and kind of opens our channel up to a variety of people. So without further ado, man, this is Coop and the Gang, and this is going to wrap this video up, man. Until the next time, peace.